Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're gonna go through uploading your own logo and adding a menu. So the first thing you wanna do is go to Appearance, Customize. And just so you guys know, this is where a lot of the customization options are for this theme. Um, I will be going through a lot of these with you in later videos, but right now we just wanna go to Site Identity and select an image for the logo. I have just the, the VS Netflix logo here, so I'm gonna drag that over. Choose image, and there you go, there's your logo. You can also choose the height of the logo if you want, and also have an, an alternate mobile logo if you prefer. There's also login logo heights here. Um, this is for the default login page if you need to adjust how tall or wide your logo is. And that will adjust the logo on the login page, which I'll, I'll show you here. So if I go to, uh, w, sorry, WP login, notice my logo is not fitting very nicely in that box. So back here, I'm just gonna make this 90, publish that. If I come back here, no, a little better, close. All right, and there you go. So the next thing I wanna do is create a menu. So to do that, I will go to Appearance, Menus, and just give this a main or primary name. Make sure you check this box. This sets it as the primary menu in the header. And for right now, I'm just gonna add a few of these pages. We will be changing this, this menu later once we add some videos to our site, but just so you can see. Refresh that, and you'll notice I have a menu over here now. You may notice in our demo we have a sign in button. And to set that up, we actually want to go back to Appearance Customize. And you want to go into the header section and check this box, which is show sign in slash user menu. Check that and publish. You'll notice now I'm logged in, so I'm gonna get the menu and this is just the default menu. If I was logged out, you would see uh, the red or whatever color you've set on your website uh, button here. And you can change the button text on that in the same customize area, you can change the text and also where it links to. So I'm gonna link mine to the account page. And you'll notice that you can also create a custom user menu. So right now I'm using the default and I have not created another user menu. You can also customize the default text links. So I'll just, I'm just gonna change this to watch now for this. And you'll notice that the rentals is now watch now. I'm gonna leave that as it was. If you really need to customize this, you can create your own user menu. So to do that, you first need to create another new menu. And I'm gonna leave, I'm not gonna save that. We'll call this user menu and make sure you check this user menu box and let's just do rentals my list which is basically the same menu but just so you can see how this can be done 
I'll save that menu. Now if I go back to customize, header, I use my user menu. This menu is now the menu that I've chosen. I'm going to leave it as the default. And just so you guys can see, I'm going to log out and refresh this page. And there's that sign in button. And if I click it, it'll actually take me to the account page. And these pages need some work. We have some different templates to, to clean these up a little bit. 